What's How To Architect's name? Um, Doug. Doug. <laughs> this is How To Make a Portfolio, Part 2. This is another one of my portfolios. It, too, is completely overbuilt. I made it after graduate school in hopes of setting myself apart from other candidates in a very difficult 1995 economy. The portfolio was wrapped in a red velvet cloth and tied shut. I was concerned about it scratching any surface it was set on, so the cloth gives it a soft surface for display. The locking mechanism is a custom assembly and uses a few borrowed parts from the portfolio you saw in part one. Once the lock is disassembled, the portfolio opens flat. This portfolio is slightly more conventional than the last, displaying the work in the fashion of a notebook. The entire portfolio is made from custom aluminum parts. The body is made from rigid sheet aluminum and angles that are attached at the periphery and held together with aluminum piano hinge. The binding is custom made with individual metal rings that pass through a custom aluminum spine. The pages are thick black paper with holes punched at the edge. With this portfolio, I chose work from undergraduate school to graduate school to a couple offices I worked for after college. I also chose to leave any text off the portfolio, as I often do. This too is not always the best solution, as it limits the ability of the viewer to understand the work you've included. I also remember having to leave the portfolio overnight for review a number of times. I know for a fact it was insane for people to figure out how to get inside. At the end of the day, that either added to my appeal or knocked me out of the running for a job pretty quickly. See you for part three.